At the Electronic Visualization Lab, graduate students worked with scientists to use the CAVE Virtual Reality Theater to visualize their research data. Most of these applications are experiments or demonstrations to apply virtual reality techniques to computational science. In brief, the CAVE is a projection-based system. The illusion of immersion is created by projecting stereoscopic computer graphics into a cube composed of display screens that completely surround the viewer. A sound system provides audio feedback. The viewer explores the virtual world by moving around inside the cube and manipulating objects with a wand-like device. Here we present an overview of the results of their collaborations. This is a graphical representation of a model for superconductors. The goal of this visualization is to evaluate the use of virtual reality techniques in superconductor research. We use the technique of successive refinement to display the replicating structure of the superconductor. This application is a visualization of brain activity resulting from a visual stimulus. The voltage potentials are mapped onto a color scale and superimposed on a head model. Musical instruments are assigned to the different electrodes used for the recording of EECG data. The resulting audio patterns are associated with specific brain configurations. The Cosmic Explorer uses a cave for exploring the stages of the evolution of the universe since the Big Bang. Each one of these points represents an entire galaxy. Viewers can explore interesting galaxy configurations by simply walking to them. A tour to fly through the universe is also provided. The climate over the western region of North America and part of the Pacific Ocean is simulated in this application. Viewers explore the landscape, temperatures, winds, water vapor, and several other climate elements. This application is a visualization of a job executing on 128 processors of an Intel Touchstone Delta parallel supercomputer. The 128 processor array is arranged in a grid centered in the cave. Arrows illustrate the inner processor communication. Each slice represents a time step on the delta. The flight of a virtual airplane over the city of Chicago is an example of an architectural walkthrough. In autopilot mode, users can relax and enjoy the flight. For more adventurous viewers, the wand is used as a navigation interface over the city. In this piece, we are visualizing the behavior of piezoelectric crystals. These crystals are important components in electronic appliances such as computers and cellular phones. We use a virtual blowtorch to simulate the application of heat to the crystal. The crystal expands in response to heat and contracts when the blowtorch is turned off. We also simulate an electrical probe for electrical stimulation. Now let's take a more detailed look at a few of these applications. The purpose of the Fractal Explorer is to investigate the structure of mathematical objects. In the cave, viewers are provided with tools to manipulate the equations that generate the fractal objects. The tool we see here is a ribbon that is anchored at the tip of the wand with its tail free to flow into the Lorenz attractor. The viewer can explore the attractor's shape by moving the wand around its field and observing the movement of the ribbon. Another tool is a virtual sphere which surrounds the attractor allowing the user to rotate it for a better view. The development of these tools was very natural in the cave where viewers can naturally move around the data and manipulate the control device in three dimensions. Molecular dynamics simulations are used here to observe the behavior of the P21 protein. The P21 molecule regulates cell growth by interacting with another molecule called GTP. The P21 protein is particularly relevant because changes in its molecular structure can lead to uncontrolled cellular growth and cancer. Viewers can observe the molecules by walking around or into them. Also, the molecules can be grabbed and manipulated with the wand. Initially, the base chain of the molecule, called the alpha carbon chain, is presented to viewers. 
the wand is used to display the molecular structure in full detail. Water molecules acting in the vicinity of the P21 molecule can also be observed. Sound is used to provide feedback. This demonstration provides a starting point for a more elaborate, immersive environment for the study of the P21 dynamics. The interaction between two neurons in the cerebellum, the Purkinje and inferior olivary neuron, are shown here. The wand can be used to initiate an action potential in the olivary neuron that triggers a complex spike event in the Purkinje cell. A color scale is superimposed over the neurons to visualize the activity. This environment offers neuroscientists the first fully immersive visualization of the interaction of the two neurons. In this application, the cave is used to illustrate a theory of how the cholera toxin infects a healthy organism. The cholera toxin is represented by two components, a red donut-shaped unit and a smaller yellow drop-shaped unit. The cell membrane and the cholera toxin docking place are represented in blue. The cholera infection can be observed as the toxin passes through the cell membrane. Scientists have reported that this application provides a new way to study the dynamics of cholera infection.